Morning, Steve Fried in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Prices overnight are a little changed. Uh, beans up a little bit, um, wheat up a little bit, corn about unchanged. Yesterday we saw a pretty big sell-off in the corn and wheat market. Some people link that to talk that India and Argentina may uh, offer uh, additional wheat exports uh, that could compete not only for U.S. wheat exports but also for corn exports. And officially, India, India did announce 5 million metric tons for uh, exports. I think the USDA right now has them at six and a half. Uh, Argentina also approved five million tons of wheat exports and USDA has them down for five million tons. We expect uh, good weekly sales in uh, beans and uh, just moderate corn and wheat and, and I think that's one of the things that uh, corn and wheat is struggling with now that it's back below seven dollars a bushel and that we really don't have an export program uh, in either of those markets that uh, is near uh, the pace to meet the USDA's forecast. Uh, we also are looking at continued strong domestic cash basis levels, suggesting that uh, farmer movement has slowed and that uh, the pipeline is, is getting thin uh, for all three commodities, corn, beans, and wheat. Uh, that could actually help uh, the nearby, especially corn and bean uh, markets. Um, as far as tomorrow, we've got the USDA report, new uh, supply and demands. Uh, markets will be watching to see what they do with South American soybean crop estimates. Not much is expected to change the USDA carryouts for corn or wheat. Uh, they might uh, lower the bean carryout just a little bit because of the impressive nearby demand. Uh, we also uh, will be watching the outside markets and see um, how much uh, more strength we're going to see in the U.S. equity market the direction of the dollar and how that's going to impa impact uh, money flow uh, in the grains. We did see one report out of Iowa State uh, climatologists uh, suggesting that 85 percent of the U.S. West Midwest is still dry. Uh, that could suggest that um, you know, they could see some lower trend yields out there even though we've had uh, some uh, increase in snow activity and increase in uh, snow uh, levels uh, out in the, in the country but that uh, the snow in the east might actually have uh, east midwest 2013 yields uh, near to above uh, normal trend. So uh, we've still got some questions about the uh, U.S. summer weather but right now the market's kind of discounting uh, a lot of concerns and feels that uh, current weather patterns would suggest normal crops in U.S. Uh, 2013. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services and have a safe and profitable trading day.